right, we've got a video going here. The Lance 1172, the one we're selling. Uh, first video was 29 minutes long. We're going to make it a lot shorter <laughs> to get it on uh, RV Trader. So there's the front. Um, pretty self-explanatory. So four jacks. Right now, obviously, it's on its own, uh, jacked up. Uh, they're all remote control. I'll show you the remote. Uh, slides are all remote. Same uh, remote control for both. This is the slide out for the dinette and refrigerator combo. So we'll start by doing the outside. We'll walk around here. Um, jacks have automatic, uh, have a manual override in case there's ever an issue, each one. Uh, I opened everything up so we can see it. Back to the refrigerator. Uh, which we'll see inside, obviously. That's the back. What's that, hon? I, oh. uh, storage outside goes all the way through. Storage here goes underneath the dinette. That one doesn't go all the way through. Uh, awnings for the slide. Awnings for the window. Outdoor shower. All the drain tank uh, levers here, pretty self-explanatory there. All the drains, uh, satellite hookup, uh, plug-in is underneath here for shore power, which we're hooked into right now, as you see. Ladder, outside ladder folds up against the unit with the pins holding it down here. Uh, I was going to get a view of the roof through the, uh, through the cab over. It's easier. I got awning over the slide, awning over this slide. This is the uh, sofa slide out in the back. Backup camera, which is the rest of it's in the truck right now. We'll have to remove it. It does go with the camper. Uh, here is the Cummins 2500 watt generator. This is the battery. Uh, sorry, I get it. This one was not opened. Two batteries go in there, they're included, they're 227 volt RV batteries, deep cell, um, had them in the house for the winter. They will be going back in here. This is the override system for the slides. Uh, if the slides ever do not work, there's a way to override them. We have never had to do it, but there they are. Uh, handlebar for the stairs. Uh, stairs go, go up underneath. Got them out right now. They fold up underneath very easily. Handle for getting in and out. Uh, exhaust for the furnace. Outdoor speaker. Two, pro, two 20 pound propane tanks will be in this cabinet uh, with a regulator on each and a switch over lever engaged to let you know when one is empty. Uh, this is the back of the hot water tank. Six gallon Atwood. Uh, right here we've got the water pump, inline filter, and winterizer lever to winterize the unit, which we have done. This is the fresh water uh, entry for the 42 gallon tank. Um, outdoor 110 right here, just the 110 outlet for outdoor use. Another speaker. Uh, yeah, four season sticker, it's winterized. Here's the main sticker for the camper. That one says 48 gallons of water, fresh water, so we're not exactly sure. We thought it was 42, but maybe it's 48. Um, gray water is 35 gallons, black water is 35 gallon tank, also. LED lights outside. I think they're there, there, this is the storage drawer here, pulls out, uh, basically, uh, tools and stuff can go there, a two-way door here, uh, basically allows you to shut the screen, shut the drawer. Um, allows you to shut the screen and have the screen door and 
the outside door open. So well, those are two options there. All the lights are here. Interior, some of the interior lights, all the exterior lights. There is the remote control for the uh, jacks and the trying to find it here. Huh? <laughs> okay. Can't quite find out what where they, how to put that on the screen. There we go. There is the remote for the it switches on and off from the slides to the jacks and back, uh, depending on what button. All four jacks can work simultaneously or individually. Okay, inside. That's the, so this is the sofa. So the, the slide out for the sofa. There's a winterizing um, window covers. These have a footrests that pop out, both of them. Uh, a little tough to see at this angle. This is the interior, obviously. Looking towards the cab over, with the, everything's open right now. I opened all the storage, so uh, I didn't open all of it. There's some up there. But, uh, and all you do is push on the uh, sofa foot rests and they go back in. So the windows all have three coverings on them. This is a Lance feature. Uh, they basically have the shade. Then they lift up and have the ability to let light in and even these go up too. So you've got three options on the on each window. All the windows have those. Uh, all LED lights inside. Uh, pantry right here. Slide out pantry. The old bay will go with the unit. <laughs> uh, storage here. Let's see. Kitchen. Yep. Storage up above. This is the three burner propane stove. Getting some sun in here, I think. I can't quite. It doesn't seem that bad, but it seems like it's on the screen. Um, full oven, propane, propane all around. Easy clean. Since this removes, the top removes, and also has a cover right here that goes down over the burners uh, more storage range hood uh, double sink this is a extended table this goes down uh, need two hands to do it sorry <laughs> Down it goes. Storage drawer there. Storage underneath. There is another filter you can hook up underneath. We have not done it. It's an inline filter also. Uh, slide out drawers underneath the dinette. Full drawers. Um, dinette folds down into a full size bed fairly easily. Using the cushions as a bed, uh, we used it once. Obviously, with the with the cab over, we didn't really need it as a bed. Uh, six cubic foot three-way refrigerator runs on AC, DC, and propane. We only use propane at this point. Uh, lights up above, LED. Uh, this the storage unit goes all the way through to the outside. Uh, TV. Is Movable uh, with a lever moves around towards the bedroom or the living room dinette. Uh, this is the, the control units for the solar 30 amp PWM Go Power solar controller. This is the generator, monitor, on-off switch, 
it's 11.8 hours it's that the total it's ever run there's your uh, tank and pump and water heater runs on gas or electric uh, air conditioner unit is up above we have not we've only turned it on a couple times to try it uh, 9,000 BTU we believe we've never used it full time just to, use, to keep it running uh, full dry bath sink flush toilet this is the uh, storage underneath drawer uh, medicine cabinet and shower unit with a very difficult to move in here as you can imagine um, it's uh, full, we've got antifreeze in there right now for winterizing um, the, the shower bar comes out holds out a nice feature and it pushes in to give you more room uh, that fantastic fan here was also one out here two fantastic fans that one is temperature regulated um, there is a crack in the shower unit it's the only defect we know of in the unit um, we've sealed it it went partially down to there um, sealed it up did not had a leak so just to let you know that uh, thermostat uh, the refrigerator freezer uh, ample six cubic feet nor cold have over uh, wood storage uh, DVD CD CD mp3 player which we've only tried once we really didn't listen to music much Cam over is a queen size bed with a hamper uh, storage there storage up above storage there LED lights above the bed and the hamper, all right, excuse me, a wardrobe over here, the slide here. Speak, uh, heater. I believe there's one, there's one, one. All right. 12 volt and a plug up here. This is a Helix window. It opens to the you to get out of the unit and up onto the roof without getting out of the unit um, so there is the vents fantastic fan all the bathroom vents there's a roof rack system air conditioner and a solar panel on the roof 90 watt so you can get up on the roof without getting out of the camper. There's the satellite antenna also, which I did not show, but there's a satellite antenna. All right, I'm gonna shut it off now. It's 13 minutes, uh, still longer than I wanted, but hopefully it's a good tour of it quick. Um, more information online, thank you.